In this video, we'll state a major definition, that of linear transformations. And then we'll state a few theorems about it. In section 1.4, we made the observation that matrix vector multiplication has some nice properties. And we observed that first of all, matrix multiplication distributes over vector addition. And second, that if you have a scalar attached to your vector, you can pull that scalar in front of the matrix. We have now made the observation that T of X equals A times X is a transformation from Rn to Rm. If we take these two properties and reframe them using transformation notation, the first property says that T of V plus W equals T of V plus T of W. The second property says that T of C of V equals C times T of V. Let me put a box around those two properties, and now we'll turn this into a definition. Definition, a transformation T that satisfies these two properties for all vectors V and W and all scalars C is called linear or a linear trend formation. We have therefore have already seen one example of a linear transformation. This is a linear. In fact, this is the transformation that motivated this definition. We'll see some other examples in another video. Let me end this video with two quick theorems. First of all, this definition can be consolidated from two statements down to one. A transformation is linear 
if and only if, for every pair of scalars C and D, and every pair of vectors V and W, the transformation applied to Z C, V plus D, W is the scalar C times T of V plus the scalar D times T of W. So sometimes if you're trying to demonstrate that a transformation is linear, it's faster to use this theorem because you can just use a single condition instead of having to check whether it satisfies two different conditions. Here's a second theorem. If T is linear, T of the zero vector equals the zero vector. We might as well prove this. It's a pretty simple proof. T of the zero vector is T of the zero vector plus the zero vector. Zero plus zero is zero. T is linear. So T of zero plus zero is T of zero plus T of zero. So ignoring this middle part, this equals this, subtract T of zero from both sides. And zero equals T of zero. That's it for this definition and these theorems. We should see some additional examples of a linear transformation, but we'll put that off in, um, as its own video.